2019, the legislature passed AB 168, commonly referred to the Public School Restorative Justice Law. While well intended, this law has led to instances of disruptive and dangerous situations in schools across the state. It handcuffs school teachers and administrators, leaving them powerless to address habitually misbehaving and all too often violent students. Violence in schools, Governor Lombardo in his State of the State address last night says he is committed to tackling this crucial issue and so are those attending. A school security conference right here in town. Joshua Peguero, the only TV reporter attending that conference, spoke with educators and state officials in attendance. And Joshua, what did you find their main focus to be? Brian, one of those we spoke to is the head of school security at Matter Academy, a charter school in the East Valley. He says the main focus is to provide a safe learning environment, and doing that starts at home. We pride ourselves into staying on top of the security, uh, especially at the Matter Academies. We take it very, very seriously um, with the way that the buildings are built, with the way that we have the fencing. With 28 years of experience at Metro under his belt, Schmidt is based at Matter's High School located near Pecos and Bonanza. He says mental health is a priority at the school. We try to do the best they can to make sure that the home life is okay because if the home life is affecting, it affects the school life. Gary Sigris is one of the organizers of this conference. He has worked in both law enforcement and in the classroom in Ohio and says kids are more often now resorting to extreme violence to express their anger. What we have today are a lot of people, both children and adults, who are very brittle. And they're always blaming somebody for something bad that's happened to them. Sigris, who is also speaking, says it's less likely for a student to attack an educator where there's a personal connection, a skill they're pushing at this conference. There were other educators and school resource officers in attendance, even Nevada state officials. The Division of Emergency Management is actually required by law to accept and review all school emergency operations plans. So being here to get that information and resources helps support that mission. Now tomorrow there will be a discussion on arming school staff with concealed weapons. The group will also discuss threat assessments with the Ohio Attorney General's Office. Brian.